Welcome to Space Engineers on the Xbox. And this is a mod showcase. It's a quick one because there's not much to talk about with this particular mod. The Ganymede Maglev Landing Gear by Soganas, who has some other mods, some which will only work on a dedicated server due to scripting required. This is it, though. So what is it? Well, it's a landing gear. And it works off magnetic levitation technology. Now, you can get it in 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three for small grid. So we're just going to slap one on, leave it on auto lock, jump into the cockpit of my little scout flyer, bring it down, put it on the shortcut bar, Q switch lock. And there we go. It's locked. There we go. You can walk underneath your ship. And it uses considerably less space than regular landing gear so what you can do with it as well is you can recess it so you can get closer to the landing pad or the ground for instance say hello to my rather strange atmospheric mining headquarters something I built I think about the fourth or fifth thing I built ever on this game Atmo miner here dead simple Single drill, piston, ground, refinery, assembler, all on board. Uses solar power and wind. Remember the rule. If you have a moving grid, a wind turbine won't work. But if landing gear are locked, and in this case maglev landing gear the same, it creates a connection to the ground, essentially becomes a station, and can you hear that in the background? I don't know if you can hear it or not. Hello, Mal. Good morning. Now, you're going to shut up now. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Where was I? Yep, it creates a link to the ground. And your turbines will work. So if anyone tells you that wind turbines do not work on a moving grid, they're partially correct. But if you make that moving grid locked to the ground with landing gear, your turbines will work. Okay, so as you can see, I've recessed this one. Look. And my little. Vehicle. Still reach the ice. We pop open our remote terminal and we control this we unlock the landing gear you'll see they change color that means that they are ready to lock if they're this color then they're idle now these aren't on auto lock so they won't automatically lock to the ground as i get close and you'll see they have a particular two block engagement distance on the large gear version there you go they're now ready to lock so if we lock them they go pale yellow which means they're locked so from this point on i can engage my drill that or i could put that drill and just find it here, like this, and turn it on and off. And engage my piston, and just functioning like a regular landing gear, holds the ship in place as you bore a hole into the ice or the ground. ready 
Yeah, just. Unlock your gear. Thrusters take the weight and whoop, you're off. That's the Ganymede Maglev landing gear. Available in two sizes for small grid, one size for large, and with enough room for you to walk underneath. If you want to get close to the pad, you need to recess the landing gear inside the ship. And one landing gear itself could actually hold up a large ship. The more landing gear you use, the more um, you will potentially start to lag out the console. I think somebody tried 30, which was uh, interesting. And I think that did cause some lag. Anyway, that's it. That's your Sargonus Ganymede Maglev landing gear. I will leave a link to that in the description. And I will also keep an eye on this particular mod and modder. I've got a feeling we're going to see some good stuff. Until then, take care. Stay safe. Have a good one. Happy engineering. Bye for now.